Hi, this is Dr. Song. Cataract surgery typically involves around 10 steps. It's a delicate and skill-intensive procedure, but at the same time it doesn't require extreme artistry or an exceptionally high level of technical mastery. With enough experience, any surgeon can become proficient in it. Over time, as you perform more routine cataract surgeries, you naturally develop your own approach and gain confidence in your technique. That's right. More than 90% of cataract surgeries are routine cases. It's easy to think there's nothing left to learn from so many routine cases, but that's not true. Improving surgical quality comes down to refining each step of cataract surgery one at a time. That's why I set a goal for my routine cases every year. In 2024, my focus was on capsulohexis, aiming for a well-centered 5 to 5.5 mm rexis. So, what should my goal be for 2025? Let's take a look at my routine cases and talk about it together. This is a highly myopic eye with significant nuclear sclerosis. It's a good idea to use the chopper to slightly lift the iris and relieve retropulsion. Removing the anterior cortex like this helps expose the nucleus, making it easier to position the chopper. As expected, the nucleus is firmer than it initially appeared. My first goal for 2025 is to minimize zonular stress while chopping. The key here is that during horizontal chopping, the chopper should reach the nuclear equator with a pronating motion. This aligns better with the anatomical structure, reducing unnecessary movement of the nucleus. My second goal is to keep the phaco tip strictly within the central 4mm safe zone. When you're not used to it, the phaco tip can unintentionally drift toward the periphery, which can be risky. The focus is on maintaining a safe, center controlled phaco technique. And as always, extra focus and caution are needed for the last fragment. The rest of the procedure follows the usual routine. I believe that small improvements add up to make a big difference. By setting goals for each surgery and refining my technique little by little, I strive to get closer to perfection. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.